another inspired by sound video for your viewing pleasure, hopefully. This time, Into the Unknown. Now, this is a track that I would like to be used in a film trailer or as a TV advert, if I can get it. In that role, I would be very happy indeed. It's nine tracks, there's a lot of sounds in here. Some of them are repeated, and that is to say the same product. Um, all links to the sounds and products used are in the YouTube description, as usual. So uh, I'm going to talk you through all the joys of this track and what fun it was to make, I can tell you that. Because even though it has this repetitive piano theme that you can hear in the background, um, all the drums and stuff that are in it come in and go out at different times and do different things and play different roles, and you're going to hear that for yourself. So let's do this, shall we? Let's do this. Let's start then with the piano. It's the first sound in here. And there are two piano tracks in this one. The first is from Native Instruments, The Grandeur. And it plays a very, very integral part in this. I'm going to simply solo it and hit play for you and show you what this does. Now, where would we be without that? Because all of the advert music and trailer music that I've ever heard had something distinctive about it. And I thought, what can I do? What can Andre Louis do to make something like this with the sounds that he has? Why am I speaking in third person? So I decided I would try my hand at something like this and hope that it would work. People seem to like this one. Um, I've got it up on my SoundCloud as well for interested parties. And it also features, again, on my album, a little bit of everything, like the track we mentioned in the uh, video before, Audience Participation. Um, then, the next track... Uh, there we go. The next track is the piano bass sound, and it comes in at 17 bars, and it just basically plays this throughout the rest of the theme. I'll put on the metronome. And interestingly enough, there are two different, as I say, there are two different pianos. There are two different, physically different pianos. One is the Grandeur, which is the Maverick, which I will play. And the one under it doing just piano bass parts is the Maverick. Very different sound, isn't it? So... Same on the the Maver on the, the grandeur. It's possibly that this is richer, but I thought um, when I was making this that I could get uh, different sounds from different pianos, and I did. And I've added a very slight delay to that piano, but not to the bass piano. Um, and the other one, it gives it richness and something that I really wanted. Then these string sounds, which I like, Session Strings Pro. Beautiful product. Good sounds. I like that. It kind of plays a motif for you, and you can you can change the motif. Okay, not with the mod wheel in this case. Um, I think you can change it with uh, the knobs on top of the keyboard up here. I did do that at some point, I know, because I changed something about the sound, but I can't remember what. And it does respond to velocity. So if I play very gently, nothing really happens. Play harder. <laughs> And this plays an integral part in the piece as well, um, because without that... Very important. Now we get onto all the crazy drums, and there are um, quite a lot of drum tracks in that. So. 
just to refresh, there were two piano tracks already, uh, the Grandeur, the Maverick, and Session Strings Pro for the strings. And then the rest of it is all drums, basically. So from track four to track nine is drums. The first drum uh, drums come from, these are fills, and I believe that these sounds are called cymbal fills, and they come from Evolve Mutations R2. Well, it's actually Evolve R2. On the website, when I was getting the product links, it actually just calls itself um, Evolve, because there's Evolve and Evolve Mutations and Evolve Mutations 2. But in my um, keyboard, it's listed as Evolve R2, so I've written it as such. And you get all these nice sounds that give you fills and thrills and wonderful things like that. Just the kind of whooshes and swooshes that you want to uh, design your trailer, I think. And uh, I can see myself coming back to this product hugely in the years to come. So it's full of all these great noises. And the first instance we get of this actually is in the very beginning. And I did that just to solo it so you can hear it right in the beginning of the track. So I'll play it now like this. all that and if I play that without that in the beginning I'll mute the channel there's other things but we've got to put that back in to fill the full effect and now we have so yeah lots of things the next drum track, where do we come from? This comes from Evolve Mutations 2. All three Evolve products get used, both Evolve Mutations 1 and 2 and Evolve R2. And this is a, um, a kit full of tempo synced fills. So we get things like that. I didn't use that in this. These are the kinds of noises in this particular drum kit. And uh, it's just full of the great things like that. So when I show you, where does it come in? 17 bars. Um, that's what it does very quietly at the beginning, 17 bars. You probably aren't even going to hear it really in there at that point. It gets louder later for sure then you start to hear it. So if I play you from track 17 with everything playing unsoloed and unmuted, then you have this. You can just about hear it under it, but when it gets uh, to the next section of bars, then you will hear. Now you hear it. See, there it is. Oh, and there's that fills track again. Great big symbols and things. And another section for this, um... This sound here. It's just full of noises, this. Drums 2, so that was Drums 1. Drums 2 is what we had in, uh... Two videos ago when we were discussing um, Time to Run, and this is Action Strikes again, um, as I called it in that, Big Boomies, but I was more sensible in this, and it's actually called Drums 2. And now, where does this come in? Four bars, huh? Here's your metronome. Point of reference. I don't know if it's going to play again. Oh yeah, there it goes. I was going to say, I wasn't sure if it's going to play again immediately because a track like this has all these different sections and it's very hard to know when something is going to be there or when it's not going to be there. And so you can't always tell immediately. But it's got all these great hits and things in it and it just adds to the overall essence of this piece and I like that fact. It's doing a lot of bits and pieces at the moment as you can hear in the background there. These are the kind of things, by the way, that really build up your piece and give it some oomph and things. And 
the kind of things that you don't want to do without these sort of products if this is the kind of music you want to do as i want to do then these are absolutely essential these can really make or break your piece in in my opinion anyway and from all the stuff i have heard on tv when you start hearing things on television that you yourself own it gives you a sense of hey i'm with the big boys now i've got it i'm i'm getting somewhere getting known this is a good feeling so um can't really you know I can't even explain that feeling when you first hear something that you have. It's a great feeling, and uh, I'm not going to lie. Drums 3 is more Action Strikes, but a different patch in Action Strikes. Um, the previous was Action Strikes Hits, and this is Action Strikes Ensemble. And this comes in nice and early. One bar. And again, it's um, bits and pieces, because... If, if you remember what the piece sounds like in uh, or at least clips of it you know that you can't have things like drums playing all the way through so there are times and places for all of these things and this is the time for that if I unsolo this see there it is now they all play their part Two more tracks to show you, and then I can uh, start breaking down and perhaps doing slight solos of certain parts and, and show you what that's about. All right, let me see. 41 bars here. This doesn't come until quite late. This is Evolve Mutations. Not two, but one. Up here at 41 bars in the track. And again, this kind of uh, kit is full of these tempo synced riffs and bits and pieces that work along. You might well have heard some of these in things that you yourself watch. And that's the, the joy of, of products like these. They are so well known and they get used in some very interesting places. All sorts of great noises in here. And the last track in here is something that you will be familiar with if you're familiar with my videos. Rise and Hit. Yes, I know, it comes back again. The Rise and the Hit. And that one I thought was quite eerie and, and quite sort of coming soon. Uh, and then the Hit on the other side. And uh, something like this will certainly play a big part in a track like this. Even though it may not play many times, it is still very, very important. And this one comes in at bar 16 to lead into a build up. And if I go back to that bar 16 and unsolo it, then you will hear. You see, great big parts to play. Now, what I like to do with this, because of course the melody carries a huge section of this track, is what I do is if I mute the two piano tracks and the string track, and just leave you with drums. Then you get to hear all of these drum parts. Um, what, six drum parts? Yeah, because it's nine tracks. So six drum parts playing together without any melody. And you can see the power of mixing and matching multiple drums at once. So from bar one, beat one. Drums alone. I love doing things like this. And I'll tell you why. I wrote this track in uh, November or December, I think, of last year, possibly even earlier. So when I'm loading these, track up, uh, these tracks up, months after actually having made them, I don't always remember what's what and where's where. So I come back to them and I do things like this. And I'm not arrogant because I don't want to, you to consider me that way, but I'm impressed with the choices that I made to come out with things and mix and match things together in a certain way. And if you can come back to something that you've made months ago and still like it months later, then as far as I'm concerned, you've done something right. I think in these situations, as a musician, if you can't be happy with something, then you shouldn't expect anyone else to be either. So if I say I'm happy with this, then I'm happy with the choices I made. I don't believe that's arrogance. I believe that's just... 
if you can agree with that, then that's great. Anyway, this video has gone on long enough. I'm going to unmute these tracks. Just so. One. And two. And three. It's time for me to leave now, ladies and gentlemen, but I hope you've enjoyed another Inspired by Sound video and that you got something out of this one as well. Breakdowns are fun, showing off sounds is fun, and I hope that you like them as much as I like making them. I will see you next time, same as always. If you like what you're hearing and what you're seeing, please subscribe, share, and like the videos. Thank you very much for your time.